प्रभु खोटा गेला आचार्य ठाकुर कहा मोरा स्वरूप रूपा कहा सनाता दास रघु नाथा पतिता पावाघुनाता पतिता पावा जुगा कहा कवीरा एक काले खोटा गेला गौरा शने कुटी बो माता आनले पासी बो शने कुटी बो अनले पासीब गौरंगा गुनेरा निधि कोठा गे पाव सभा संगीरा संगे लेखोलो भिला सभा संगीरा संगे खोलो भिलाषंगान पाया कांडे नरोतम संगाना पाया कांडे नरो समाधा 
जय ओम विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिव्राजकाचार्य श्रोतर श्री श्रीमद अभय चरणारविंद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी शिव प्रभुपाद की जय जय ओम विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिव्राजकाचार्य श्रोतर श्री श्रीमद भक्ति सिद्धांत को स्वामी ठाकुर शिव प्रभुपाद की गोरकिशोर दास बाबा जी महाराज की श्री भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर की सार्वभौम श्री जगन्नाथ दास बाबा जी महाराज की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णविंद की नाम आचार्य श्री हरिदास ठाकुर के प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवास आदि गौर भक्त बिंद की श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गो गोपीनाथ श्यामखंद राधा कुंद गिरि गोवर्धन की श्री वृंदावन धाम की नवद्वीप मायपुर धाम की जगन्नाथपुरी की गंगा मई की जमुना मई की भक्ति देवी की तुलसी देवी की समवेता भक्त बिंद की Take note of the world where Shri Prabhupada's transcendental book distribution team. All gloriously assembled devotees. All gloriously assembled devotees. All gloriously assembled devotees. All glories to Shri Guru and Shri Gauranga. All glories to Shri Prabhupada. Namo Vishnu Padaya. Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vikasa Swami Tamaraya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम अज्ञानतिरांध से ज्ञानाजनाशलाकया चक्षुर्मील येन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्यमनोभीष्ट स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूपकदम मह्यम दधा स्वापदाक वंदेहम श्रीगुर श्रीयुता पदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवांश श्री रूपम सागजात सहागना रघुना तन्वृत तमस जीव साइत सवधूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्री राधा कृष्ण पादान सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखान्वृता हे कृष्ण कर्णा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरिप्रिय वाचाकपतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम नम ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति विकास स्वामन नाम निज गुरहरिवाण्या कृष्णचित विचित परहित पितृगेहांद संसार कूप प्रभुभन सुखाबो मज्जय सोम सुविशो भुवि जयति विकासो भक्तिपूर्व यतीन्द्र नम ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामन नाम नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य स्वामी गुरु वैष्णव भगवान तीन स्मरण हो विघ्न विनाशन वागीशा ये वदने लक्ष्मी ये चक्षसी ये हस्ते हृदय संवृत्त नृसिंह अहम भजे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो टुडे वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग द डिसपियंस फेस्टिवल्स ऑफ वैष्णव सर्वभौम श्री जगन्नाथ दास बाबू जी महाराज सो व्हाट इज द प्रणाम मंत्र फॉर सर्वभौम श्री जगन्नाथ दास बाबू जी महाराज डोंट नो पार्ट ऑफ द संप्रदाय हु नोज गौरव विभव भूमि स्वम निर्देश सज्जन प्रिय वैष्णव सर्वभौम श्री जगन्नाथ दाय ते नम सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो दिस हाउ कैन वी नॉट नो दिस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू नो वाई बिकॉज वे पार्ट ऑफ द संप्रदाय एंड हीज ऑन आर ऑल्टर टू ओके ओके अनादर क्वेश्चन हु वेर इज ही ऑन आर ऑल्टर इज ही ऑन द लेफ्ट ऑफ भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर और राइट ऑफ भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर लेफ्ट और राइट he's on bhakti vinod takur's left right so that's him that is um 
Um, Bhakti Vinod Thakur on his left is Sri Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. And what does this Pranam Mantra mean? So I'm gonna find I'm gonna find the exact translation of this um, Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah he, you know it, I, I can give like a rough translation. Go to Vir Bhavabhuma so I'm like we, we offer our most humble and respectful obeisances unto Sri uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj because uh, one of the main things that he did was he found the birth site of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You know, Gauravi Bhavabhuma is some Nirdesha Sarjana Priyaha Vaishnava Sarvabhuma Sri Jagannath Ayatina Maha. You know that. He is also the Vaishnava Sarvabhuma. He is the commander in chief of the Vaishnava Sampradaya. So it's very important for us to know who this personality is because he's the Vaishnava, he's, he's, a, he's a general. So how can we not know his pranam mantra being initiated in, in the Sampradaya? It's very bad, actually. So we should learn this. I uh, humbly request all the devotees present here to please learn the pranam mantra of Gorkisha Das Babaji Maharaj, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, and... Um, Sri Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj and Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur also. It's very important. So please uh, take your time out to learn this. It's very, very important. So we're celebrating the appearance day of, disappearance day of Sri uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. And there's this famous verse in Lord Chaitanya which describes that. Um, of all the qualities of the devotees of Lord Shaitanya, there's one quality which pleases him the most. What's that quality? Vairagya, renunciation. And what is that verse? Huh? Not that one. The, the, the exact translation. That's a verse glorifying Lord Shaitanya. But there's a verse saying how Lord Shaitanya is very pleased looking at the renunciation of the devotee. Guru Maharaj quotes this very often also. Mahaprabhu Bhaktar Gan Vairagya Pratan Yaha Deki Priti Haya Gora Bhagavan. That amongst all the devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu Bhaktar Gan. It's very easy to understand. Everyone understands who Mahaprabhu means, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Bhaktar Gan means the assembly of devotees of Lord Chaitanya, Mahaprabhu Bhaktar Gan. Vairagya Pradhan. Vairagya means renunciation. And Pradhan means the most important. Vairagya Pradhan. Pradhan. So this is the most important. Yaha Deki, looking at this, Priti Haya becomes very happy. Gora Bhagavan, Lord Chaitanya himself. So Lord Chaitanya becomes very happy looking at the renunciation of his devotee. So Jagannath Das Babaji, you know, he was a very renounced person and he actually, uh, you know, would display his renunciation on such a, on such a high esoteric level, on such a deep level. He would actually... Um, it was completely detached from this material world completely. So, Jagannath Das Babaji was no ordinary person. He was actually a person who pushed on that um, the Babaji's in the Sampradaya and, you know, those who are following strictly that, that Babaji Vesh and all these things, they should do Chatur Mas. He actually pushed Bhaktivinoda Thakur, you know, and, uh, and the rest of the Vaishnavas at that point of time to do the Shatur Mas, you know, basically the four months of the rainy season. And he was so renounced that um, uh, Jagannath Das Babaji, that during the Shatur Mas period, he would only eat four bananas a day, the whole time. And he would chant the whole time. He, being a Babaji, he would chant at least 300,000 names of Krishna, of the Maha Mantra. So how many rounds is that? 192 rounds. He would chant 192 rounds a day, every day. And while he was chanting, during Chaturmas period, he would only eat four bananas in the first month. In the second month, he would only eat a few guavas. And on the third month of the Chaturmas, he would only drink whey. Right? Whey. How was that made? Whey? And then whatever is left over. Right? So he would only drink whey in the second month. And the last month, he would only eat boiled banana leaves. And that's what he would eat. And he would be chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, you know, with great attention and focus. And he would be chanting the holy names of Krishna. 
and he would chant like this 192 rounds every day. Can we imagine that? Just think about it. So we, we chant 16 rounds, and even that is like a big austerity, at least myself, talking about myself. You know, and 16 times 4 is 64, and 64 times 3 is 192. So how many, how many more rounds is that than what we chant? How is that? Was 109, okay, I guess that's 12 times more rounds. 12 times more rounds than what we chant. Jagannath Das Babaji would chant. 12 times more. Imagine chanting your 16 rounds every day 12 times over. <laughs> Hare Krishna Prabhu, Hare Krishna. <laughs> you know, we'll be, you know, where is that focus, you know? But, you know, Prabhupada is very kind. You know, he gave us this whole, uh, he gave us a whole process by which, you know, we can, uh, you know, we, we can be completely engaged in this whole process of Krishna consciousness just by following the strict program that Sri Prabhupada gave. You know, we can uh, attain the same things that devotees who practice that serious sadhana also attain. It's not impossible. So, you know, he was a um, very renounced person. You know, he appeared in, um, he appeared in Bengal, ba sorry, Bangladesh. At that point of time, it was called East Bengal. So there's East Bengal and there's West Bengal. So uh, then when Britishers, you know, were doing their thing with India, then East Bengal became Bangladesh. Many of Lord Chaitanya's associates actually uh, descended in Bangladesh, actually. Of course, West Bengal also. So uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, you know, he appeared in um, East Bengal, currently, current day known as, uh, known as Bangladesh. And unfortunately, there's not much information about his early life, but... Uh, there's this uh, autobiography of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, uh, which he's kindly written down for our benefit, where he is given a lot of information of about um, the about Jagannath Das Babaji. There's another book also known as uh, Gaudiya Charitra, where and Indrajumna Maharaj gave a class, so I'm just uh, you know uh, you know I took a few notes of what he was saying. I'm just repeating this. Um, you know, uh, uh, Gaudiya Charitra, and you know, there's another book also. So all these books, you know, they, they have some information about about uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, and Bhaktivinoda Thakur is actually the person who gave the name Sarvabhoma, so Vaishnava Sarvabhoma to Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. He was, why? Because, um, you know, he realized that this person is the commander-in-chief of all the Vaishnavas. So the first time that both these great Acharyas met, was in the year 1880. That was the first time that they met in the year 1880. And um, at that point, and then, you know, Bhaktivinoda Thakur was taking Shiksha. He was a, a Shiksha disciple of Jagannath Das Babaji. And they again met in 1891. And then when, uh, when they met in 1891, uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, whole night, he was just uh, preaching and giving Bhagavatam class, and he was... Uh, you know, completely absorbed, you know, in, in Krishna Leela and Gauda Leela. And he would preach and all these things. And then what was the essence? What was the instruction that he gave to all his people? The instruction that he gave to all the people listening to him was that preach Gora's name all over India. He told this to Bhaktivinoda Thakur, actually. He told, preach Gora's name, preach Lord Chaitanya's name all over India. And then, this is really amazing, he says, if possible, in the entire world. So, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj also had the same moon. The Lord Chaitanya's name and fame should be spread all over the three worlds, not just in India. So this preaching mission that we're all part of has all been conceived by the previous Acharyas. And every Acharya, they pushed down this message that Lord Chaitanya's names should be spread all over the three worlds, should be spread not just in India, but all over the world. All over the world, the, the holy name should be spread. Of, of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Chaitanya's glories. Because we can see that why don't the other sampradayas, they, why, don't, wh why don't so many uh, you know, non-Indians join the other sampradayas? What do you think? Why, why? why don't we see so many non-Indians joining uh, the Sri Sampradaya or uh, the Madhva Sampradaya, or the Nimbarka Sampradaya? Why do you think? really preach outside of India, okay. But now you see they have temples here. You know, there's Madhva temples, Vai Sri Vaishnava temples. Consideration, Consideration of birth. Okay.
Uh, no, they don't speak Tamil. They, they, Urdu, they, all this stuff is in Sanskrit. Okay. It's not, it's not like, uh, it's not like they don't have non-Brahmanas also. They have non-Brahmanas also. But it's like, you know, and like, you know, you could like, you could, you know, technically go and get initiated in that line. So it's not fully that. Mo most of what you're saying, you know, is true. You know, it's like, of course, the Mula Granthas and all these things, yes. No, they push the Hindu to Krishna a lot. That's the point. That without Lord Chaitanya's mercy, people cannot be delivered. That's the point. That's the point. That's why Jag uh, Sarvagama Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj would always say that Lord Chaitanya is more merciful than Krishna. Lord Chaitanya is more merciful than Krishna. Krishna is like a ruler who takes into account all your offenses. But Lord Chaitanya doesn't. That's why Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj would constantly push. Before chanting, Jai Shri, before chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, we should chant Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhara, Sri Vasadi Gora Bhakta Vinda. So, you know, he, he's the one. And it's not like you chant it before every round. You chant it before you start chanting your rounds, and you just get into it like that. So, uh, because Lord Chaitanya's mercy is not there, it's hard for all these other sampradayas to recruit non-Indians into it, you know. And uh, we see, and it's, it's, it's a cultural thing, and like, you know, that whole thing is if, if, uh, if that person is qualified, then, um, then they can come. Then, then they'll come automatically to us. There's no need for us to go and, uh, you know, go and give, uh, you know, give this stuff to anyone else. But that was in Lord Chaitanya's mood. Lord Chaitanya's mood is Pritivite, uh, yeah, Pritivite, oh, I always mess this verse up with another verse. That everywhere, go and uh, go and preach the go go and preach this message everywhere you go, all over the world, all over the everywhere, go and preach this message. That whoever you see, whoever you meet, go and preach to them about about uh, Krishna's instructions, and by doing so, become the guru of that land. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving these instructions. And these instructions, you know, Lord, Lord Chaitanya handed it down to his immediate disciples and him, his immediate disciples and his immediate disciples. And we can see Sarvabhama Sri Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj gave the same instruction to Bhaktivinoda Thakur. That please make sure that Lord Chaitanya's names are spread all over in India, all over India. And not just that, if possible, around the entire world. So, the great Acharyas, they have all these things in line. They have this whole plan. They have this whole vision. We must not be under the illusion that, oh, you know, it's just uh, coming from Prabhupada, and Prabhupada is the only person who pushes these things forward. Otherwise, like, no one else, uh, no one else does this and all these things. No, Prabhupada understood the essence of the instructions of all our previous Acharyas, and he actually came and spread and preached this message everywhere that we see. And, you know, he, Prabhupada gave us a process so nice that, you know, we can actually understand the essence of this also. Vairagya Vidya, Nisha Bhakti Yoga, Shikshamrita Eka Purusha Purana, Shri Krishna Chaitanya Sharira Dhari, Kripam Budhariya Samaham Prapadya. Then, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, is so merciful, Vairagya Vidya, Nisha Bhakti, Shikshamrita Eka Purusha Purana, Shri Krishna Chaitanya Sharira Dhari, Kripam Budhariya Samaham Prapadya. Lord Chaitanya is so merciful, he's the most beneficent incarnation, the Supreme Lord. He is the most munificent incarnation of Supreme Lord Himself. And He came to teach us renunciation and, do, and, and devotional service at the same time. So Sri Prabhupada did the exact same thing. He taught us renunciation and devotional service at the same time. That, you know, we may be very much, uh, you know, into like austerities and we may want to perform this austerity and that austerity. But Prabhupada already said in Kali Yuga, there's already so many austerities, you know. We don't have to go around looking to find more austerities. There's already so many austerities. So we just simply have to focus upon the instruction that Sri Prabhupada gave and follow his mission. And by following it, we will also be able to understand this whole, um, whole message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Um, 
so Jagannath, uh, Sarvabhoma Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, spiritual master, uh, he took uh, he took initiation from this devotee known as Jagadananda, and um, but then he took his Babaji initiation from uh, Madhusudan. So his his Madhusudan Das Babaji. So this Madhusudan Das Babaji is a very special person. Uh, you know, he was born in a very aristocratic family, and when he appeared in this aristocratic family, he was you know, into Krishna consciousness and all these things. And at the age of 12, one day, he had heard his uh, parents discussing about how we should get him married. So, you know, they, they were talking about, at the age of 12, he heard his parents uh, this, about this conversation, like, oh, yeah, should we do this, should we do that, and making all these arrangements and all these things. So at that point of time, um, Madhusudan uh, Das, not Babaji at that time, he just he he took he took a, he took a small bag with all his belongings, small bag, a very small bag, and he just walked out. He just walked out, and he just split at the age of twelve. He just left his home, and he just went going. You know, so you know that's very inspiring. So you know, <laughs> it's very inspiring. Thing. So you know, so he left everything and he kept going and going. And he went to Vrindavan and he was sitting on the bank of the Yamuna. And then while he was sitting at the bank of the Yamuna, he actually, uh, uh, you know, he was praying to Krishna and, you know, contemplating that, you know, he should, um, like, uh, who his spiritual master would be and all these things, you know. And while he was contemplating uh, and he was thinking like this, and at that point of time, a very saintly Vaishnava appeared in front of him. And then, uh, you know, he offered his obeisances to him and, uh, you know, he... Asked him, like he, he, you know, he, you know, he, he's, he, the, this Vaishnava asked him, "Do you want to be initiated into this, you know, in, in, into the Hare Krishna Mahamantra?" So then, like he, he really took it as a, as, as an arrangement of Krishna. He just prayed, and this person appeared in front of him. He offered his obeisances, took a bath in the Yamuna River, you know, got out, and then his guru, you know, you know, you know, initiated him into the Babaji Sampradaya. He gave him. Uh, you know, he gave him the beads. He told him how to chant. He he gave him the he initiated in a, initiated him into the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, and he also gave him a ten syllable mantra too. And um, he taught him all the intricacies of how to chant. Told him the whole lifestyle. Helped him understand the ultimate goal of life, and he gave him the process to how to attain it, and all these things. And then, uh, you know, and then. He was then, then, then Madhusudan Das Babaji. You know, he he took all these instructions, but then before he could even ask this question, this, this his guru just disappeared. He just went away, and then he was really surprised. Like he didn't know his guru's name, he didn't know his entire, he didn't know which sampradaya he is part of. He didn't know anything. You know, he didn't know who is this person, who is this person. He didn't know anything. And then he went to um, all the Vaishnava Babaji's there, and they told he told them all the Vaishnava Babaji's in Vrindavan that. This great saintly person came and he's initiated me into the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. He's given me this ten syllable mantra and he gave a description of his guru. And none of the uh, none of the people in, in, in Vrindavan knew who he was. Who was this person? No one knew. So uh, he got ostracized from the Vaishnava society because they thought, what the hey, what are you talking about? No one, you know, which sampradaya are you part of? You know, we don't want to associate with you. So, you know, after so much trying, also, he couldn't realize who his spiritual master of the Sampradaya was. And then he just, you know, he's such a great disciple, he didn't reject his guru. He didn't know who, he didn't reject him. And he just thought that if I can't have the association of all the Vaishnavas, then what is the use of me living? So then he took and he, uh, he took a huge Govardhan Shila and he tied it around, around his neck. He took a huge Govardhan Shila and he tied it around his neck. And then he, he went to the bank of Radhakund and he wanted to drown himself you know, in Radhakun. So uh, he tied this huge rock, you know, because what's the use of living without the association of devotees? This is the most amazing thing. Uh, to leave the association of devotees is the dumbest thing that a person can do. And he also thought like that. That how can I leave the association of devotees? How, how, how can I, you know, what can I do without the association of devotees? The association of devotees is everything. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shastri Koi. Lava Madra Sadhu Sangi Sarva Siddhi Hoi. That of all, all the scriptures, they only point at one thing. And what is that one thing they point at? 
They point at association of the devotees. They point at associating with the devotees. Because by associating with the devotees, all desirable things will actually come, you know, will come to fruition. So, uh, he thought like this and he drowned himself in the Radha Kund. And then when he uh, reached the shore of Radha Kund, Sri Sri Radha and Krishna appeared to him. And then they untied that huge Govardhan Shila and they brought him to the shore and they placed him on the bank of Radha Kund. Uh, 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 yeah, it's called the bank of Radha On the bank of Radha Kund. And then on palm leaves, they actually wrote down who his guru was, what his sampradaya is, and all these things. And they put it right, put all these palm leaves right next to him. And then, you know, when he woke up, he saw his, you know, he saw the name of his spiritual master. He saw which sampradaya he's a part of and all this. And then, you know, his, the, he finally found out that the, his, the name of his spiritual master was Sri Uddhavadas Babaji. And he was a, a disciple of Srila Baladev Vidyabhusha. You know, so this is, we understand our Sampradaya more. What does Bhakti Siddhanta Sasuri Thakur say about Parampara? Right, in understanding the Parampara. What's the Bengali? Parampara Jano Bhalomate. Parampara Jano Bhalomate. So we should understand, this is our Guru Parampara. It's not that one Babaji was sitting somewhere and then from the sky he got something. And No, it's a whole, an entire connection. An entire lineage that we are part of. So we should know this. This is our commander in chief of all the Vaishnavas. Vaishnavas Sarvabhoma Sri Jagannatha Aitena Maha. So his spiritual master, you know, this Madhusudan Das Babaji, he got this, you know, and he understood, you know, uh, who his uh, spiritual master was. And then this news spread like wildfire all over Vrindavan. All over Vrindavan, this news spread like wildfire, and everyone was you know, very happy and very pleased to understand, you know, who this great soul was. And every time that he would give a Bhagavatam class, every day, every day that Madhusudan Das Babaji would give a Bhagavatam class, there would be this python who would come out of nowhere and he would, like, offer his respects. So, like, I guess like this, how pythons do it. He offers his respects, listen to the whole class. And when the class is over, he'd offer his respects again and he'll go. So, like this, every day this python would come and go. And then at one point of time... While uh, uh, the while Madhusudan Das Babaji was, uh, you know, doing his sadhana, Radharani appeared to, to him in his dream, and told him that uh, you know this is huge uh, Govardhan Shila, which uh, on which is imprinted my crown, my clothes, and my other paraphernalia are all imprinted on this Govardhan Shila. It's unfortunately like you know in in the d depths of the of of, of Radha Kun, um, and the, there's no worship going on. I want you to please bring that out and put it up there and start worshiping it every day. So then when uh, he got this instruction, Mother Sudan Das Babaji, he, d he dives down and he finds this Govardhan Shila. And this Govardhan Shila is 100 kilos. How many uh, ki uh, um, pounds is that? 250 pounds. Imagine, this is Shila is as heavy as five Srimad Bhagavatam sets. Can you imagine carrying five Srimad Bhagavatam sets underwater? You know, and he go but he got it out. He got out this, this Shila. And he put it on his altar, and he was worshipping the Sheila, and, and that worship of that Sheila is still going on till today. You know, uh, his, uh, he lives on the bank of Surya, he used to live on the bank of Surya Kund, I swear, and um, that's where the, 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 the whole Aarti and all that still goes on, the entire worship of that of the Sheila still goes on, and um, you know, if we ever get the good fortune of visiting, of being allowed to enter into Sri Vindavan Dham, Maybe then at that point of time, you know, we could, you know, get darshan of this great deity. And uh, that worship is still going on. And Jagannath Das Babaji also, he was also in the same Surya Kund. And, you know, he got initiation from Madhusudan Das Babaji. So, um, uh, you know, so it's said, you know, that just like yogis, where do they store up all their strength? The yogis? In their hair, right? They store up all their strength in their hair. So, the Babaji's, where do they store up all their strength? I, I, I was listening to this in, huh, what do you say? In the bees. In the Kunti, in, in the Kanti Mala. In the Kanti Mala and the Japa Mala. They stored their, and their, their, their Shakti in their thing. So, you know, he would, uh, so he would uh, wear these huge Tulsi beads and he would um, never take them off and he would always bathe and he would do all these things, you know, in the beads. 
you know, and, and with, with the beads on and all this. And his, uh, you know, all his, shak, you know, like, you know, it's, 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 it's very sacred. You know, the beads of a Babaji is very, are very sacred. So um, he, before he left this world, he had actually given these three sets of beads that he had to some of his disciples. And some of his disciples, and like, you know, like, uh, you know, it was a few hundred years ago, and then it was handed down, it was handed down. And then there was this old Babaji, you know, who, uh, in Vrindavan, you know, who would, uh, you know, who would, uh, you know, who had them, and he was, you know, he would chant this japa and all these things. And, of course, you know, Indrajimna Maharaj was his friend. So, <laughs> and then uh, one day on an auspicious day, in, in, uh, in, uh, he just called Indrajimna Maharaj to Vrindavan, to, 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 to Radhakun. And he spoke to him then, and he was simply glorifying Sri Prabhupada. And he was constantly glorifying Prabhupada and saying, how great Sri Prabhupada is. Prabhupada is so great that, you know, he spread the holy names of Krishna everywhere from in all, in all countries. He spread. This is the desire of Jagannath Das Babaji. He spread this uh, holy name of Lord Chaitanya in all, in all countries. And everyone from all these countries are coming, and they can become, they're, they're becoming Paka Vaishnavas. So it's only, it's, it, it only um, fits it only fits that uh, you know Shri Prabhupada receives you know these these beads, but because Shri Prabhupada has disappeared, I would like I don't have much time left in this world, so I'd like to hand these beads to you. And then like Indrajit Maharaj has like <coughs> photos of these three malas of this Babaji. They're huge, you know, and he has them three of them, and he wears them on special occasions. Oh no, no, oh, not of that Babaji, of Madhusudan Das Babaji of the of. Uh, of uh, Jagannath Das Babaji's spiritual master, he would hand he handed it down in his, in the in the in the disciplic succession, and this Babaji got it and he said so many people in Vrindavan are asking me for these beads, but I think you know we you should have them. So he has ja uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj's spiritual master's beads, and he wears them on special occasions. <laughs> That's really amazing. So you know anyway, <laughs> so he has them. And so this is, uh, you know, Mother Sudan Das uh, Babaji, you know, that's his, you know, that's his, uh, you know, great, uh, you know, he's, he's such a great personality. We can't understand, we can't fathom, you know, these uh, Vaishnavas are so humble that, you know, even their own glories, you know, uh, you know, one must really dig deep to understand. That. Otherwise, like, you know, they may just look like a Babaji who's chanting or something like that. But we see this Mother Sudan Das Babaji, and then our Jagannath Das Babaji, you know, he is, Conceived the Krishna consciousness movement. He's conceived the Krishna consciousness movement. He gave this instruction to Bhaktivinoda Thakur that Lord Chaitanya's name should be spread all over India if possible in the entire world. So, you know, he, uh, Baldevidya Bhushan, sorry, um, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, he would also chant so many names. He would also chant so many names. He would chant 192 rounds, you know, and he would, uh, in six months, he would be in Navadvip, and six months, he would be in Vrindavan. And um, while this, um, you know, and, and sometimes he would go and visit Calcutta also. So why would someone who's chanting 192 rounds every day, what business do they have going to Calcutta? Why would he go there? He would go there, why? To have the association of Bhaktivinoda Thakur. And then they would meet. They would talk and talk and talk about Krishna. They would constantly talk about Krishna and talk about Lord Chaitanya. It's a very amazing thing because four Vaishnava Acharyas were on the, same, on, the, on the planet at the same time. Bhaktivinoda Bhakti Thakur's house, Sarvabhama Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj would come, Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj would come, and our Bhakti Siddhanta Sasi Thakur was a small boy. And he would have the association of <laughs> All the Asha, can, I mean, can we fathom this? You know how um, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, you know, was in our mortal vision for 145 years. I'm gonna write something down before I forget it. Okay, uh, you know, he was in our mortal vision for 145 years, and then at some point of time in Bhakti Bhavan, that was uh, Bhakti Vinod Thakur's place of residence. Uh, Bhakti Bhavan was Bhakti Thakur's place of residence, and the four of our acharyas who are on the on, on on the altar, they would they're in the same place at one point of time. Calcutta, Bhakti Bhavan, they were at this in the same place. Can we? I mean, like, you know, it's it's inconceivable. It's inconceivable, like how how much potency is there in that place? How much potency? 
that this entire Krishna, they, they were pregnant with this Krishna consciousness movement. And then they delivered Shri Prabhupada. They gave birth to Shri Prabhupada, who just set the world on fire with Krishna consciousness. It's impossible. What Prabhupada did was impossible. It's, it's, it's like we, we can't understand. You know, I'm reading the Shri Prabhupada Lila Amrita, and, you know, how is it that, you know, Prabhupada met these devotees, and he would meet someone, and, like, you know, he would, once the Montreal temple was open, then he would just send a few disciples, okay, go to uh, L.A., and you go to San Francisco, and you go to, like, Detroit, you go to Boston, you do this, you do that. And devotees would just, Prabhupada would give them, like, the basic instructions, and devotees would just get super into it. And they would just start preaching, and, like, so many people would join, and then, you know, Prabhupada came back from from uh, India, I think, to, to, to America after his heart attack in 1968 or 1969, Prabhupada came back. And then there were hundreds of people waiting to be initiated by Sri Prabhupada. How is this possible? The, the Acharyas were, were, were uh, pregnant with this and they gave birth to Sri Prabhupada, like they delivered Sri Prabhupada. And Prabhupada just went all over. It just, you know, just, that's it. He just let loose, you know, and he just let loose. He broke open the dam of Lord Chaitanya's mercy. So he would go. What business does he have? Old, he was so old, he would go to he would go to, to the house of Bhaktivanur Thakur and they would all discuss Krishna Katha. They would chant the holy names to Krishna. So when he's chanting the holy names to Krishna, the holy names that they're chanting went seven times around the world. When Bhaktivanur Thakur, he his samadhi, where is Bhaktivinoda Thakur's Samadhi? Anyone know? Huh? No. But that, but that one is there. That one is there also. Surabhi Kunj is there. But it, it, his, his, um, he, when he was really, uh, his Samadhi, Bhaktivinoda Thakur's Samadhi is not in, is not in, um, is not with Vibdam. So he had another Bhajan Kutir also. And this was right ne uh, next to the Bhajan Kutir of Haridas Thakur in Navadvip. So in, in Puri, in Puri, sorry, I'm messing up. In, in, in Bhajan Kutir, in, 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 in Bhajan, his Bhajan Kutir in Puri, he would chant the holy names right next to the, 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 the Samadhi of Bhajan Kutir, uh, the Samadhi of Haridas Thakur, and he would chant, and he said the holy names, Jehi, I'm going to sit here and chant, and with my chanting, the holy names is going to go all, all around the world seven times. So every place that we go to distribute book, every Walmart, every... Target, every street, every park, every store, everywhere that we go to distribute books, the holy name has already been there seven times, chanted by by Bhaktivinoda Thakur and the previous Acharya. The holy name has been, it's already there. That these people are already delivered. It's up to us whether we want to be an instrument instrument of that mercy. We have to learn to be plugged in. We have to learn to be tuned in to the mercy. Of, of the previous acharyas. We have to learn to be tuned in. And the holy name that we're chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. That is the method by which we actually tune in because it's the same mantra that Lord Chaitanya gave to his, his immediate disciple, Rupa Goswami and all of them. The same mantra that Jiva Goswami chanted, same mantra that Narutam Das Thakur chanted, the same mantra that that Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur chanted, the same mantra that Baldevidya Bhushan chanted, is the same mantra that Sri, who is, uh, who is um, Madhusudan Das Babaji's spiritual master, what's his name? Sri Uddhav Das Babaji. That, you know, he chanted, it's the same mantra that, um, that, you know, that Madhusudan Das Babaji Maharaj chanted, the same mantra that uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj chanted, the same mantra that Bhaktivinoda Thakur chanted, it's the same mantra that Gaur Das Babaji chanted. It's the same mantra that Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati chanted. It's the same mantra that Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada, our own Prabhupada chanted. And then it's the same mantra that spiritual master chanted. And then they give you your beads. It's the same mantra. It's the same potency. It's there. You chant and you can tune into it. That is the secret of distributing lots of books. It's to tune into it. You, you tune into that frequency. You tune into... That same potency of the holy name has been there everywhere. The Acharyas saw thousands of Bhagavatams being distributed. The Acharyas are always in the Bhagavatam state of mind. They're always in that Bhagavatam state of mind. 
They always want the glories of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to be spread. The Acharya saw the conception of Guru Maharaj's book, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and they saw how it was going to be distributed everywhere, and Lord Chaitanya's uh, name and fame and pastimes are going to be spread everywhere. Our own spiritual master wrote this book, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in accordance to the order of Sri Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. He wrote this. And they would go, he would, and, 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 and would go to Calcutta and meet with Bhakti Vinodaku and they would speak Krishna Kata, they would speak all these things. Their plan to take over the world with book distribution. Their plan to take over the world with Harina. This is there. This is not some, we're not just some fanatics who just uh, finally found a way to make money and we're just going and doing this. No, it's ridiculous. No. This is the mood of the parampara. Parampara Jano Bhalo Mate. Even our Babaji's were always thinking about preaching. How will, I pre how will this preaching happen? How will this happen? How will that happen? Take so much anxiety to understand and sp uh, spread the Mano Bhishta of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The same thing, not different. Same thing. So he would go like this to Calcutta, you know, and then, you know, in 1891, when, when Bhaktivinoda Thakur first met Jagannath Das Babaji, you know, all the devotees went out on Nagar Kirtan. And then, you know, he would, you know, he said that Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj would dance like a lion. He would, you know, in, in, in like, you know, oh, what a day that was. Oh, what a kirtan that was. Bhakti Vinod Thakur writes in his biography, what a day that was. What a kirtan that was. Just to be around this great soul, great personality who's jumping up and down. And he would chant, um, Nitai, oh, what's that? He would chant, I should have made a note of this. Nitai, oh, yeah, I didn't make a note of it. Nitai Nama Chere. Nitai Nama Chere. He said, oh, Lord Nityananda. What a great name you have gotten down for us. What a great name you've gotten down for us. Nitaya Nam Achere. And like, you know, he would, he, they would, he would all be chanting and like, you know, he, him being in that kirtan, he would get completely lost. Sometimes we see some, uh, uh, you know, we, I remember I was seeing like a very exalted devotee one time leading a kirtan. And he was leading this kirtan and it was so ecstatic. And he was getting completely absorbed in the holy name. Then like, you know, his, his socks started flying one way, his, you know, his, you know, his, 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 his he, was, he himself was like, you know, falling so many times. It was not some artificial display either. He himself was falling so many times. You know, he himself was, you know, his, you know, his, his shudder and all this was falling. And then like, you know, we, we held him and you know, chanting and it was so ecstatic to even like touch the body of such a saintly, su <laughs> saintly, such a, such an exalted, um, Grandson of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. So this, you know, this, you know, we see that great devotees when they chant, when they dance, you know, when they're absorbed in the holy name, you know, it's, the rest is history. The whole, uh, the, the whole bogus sampradaya may be like attacking you. Uh, there's so many people may be saying you're bogus. So many of maybe it may be that some God brothers may be saying you're bogus. Uh, it may be that you're, you're waging war against all the people who are not strictly following. And all of them may come together and shout at you at one voice. But you'll just be absorbed in the holy names of Krishna. Parivadatu jano yata tata va nanamukaro na vayam na vichara yamaha harirasa madira madati matta bhuvi vilu tham na tham nirvishama. Then, you know, let the garrulous populace say whatever they like. They can say whatever they want. We don't care. As far as we're concerned, we will get drunk. And how will we get drunk? What will we drink? No. I mean, yeah, okay, okay. All right. Hari Rasa Madira. It's called Hari Rasa Madira. Yes, Hari Nama Rasa. In this regards to this verse, exactly. It's called Hari Rasa Madira. Madira means intoxicant. You know, in Telugu, it's called Mandu. You know, it's, uh, I don't know what they say in Tamil. What do they call it? Intoxicant or like alcohol or something in Tamil? Madhu, okay. So, Hari Rasa Madhira. We will get drunk, you know, in Hari Rasa Madhira, in, in serving the holy names of Krishna, in serving, the, in serving Krishna himself. We will get drunk like this. You know, we will get drunk. And we will roll about on the floor, not caring for what these people say. So, so many people may be saying so many things. But no, you know, we just... Go on getting drunk and drunk and drunk and drunk in this nectar of book distribution, this nectar of spreading Lord Chaitanya Sankirtan. It we may just be a few, but uh, the book distribution will have such a great impact that we will not see. 
we will not be able to see, we will not be able to understand. So Jagannath Das Babaji, every time, you know, even when he got really old, he, would, he got so old that his entire skin was so soft that, you know, he, his, uh, uh, his forehead, his skin, you know, it would you know, come all the way down to his eyes and he couldn't even see. He couldn't even, you know, but, and he couldn't walk and like he became completely hunched over and he couldn't walk and he had this disciple known as, uh, known as um, um, Bihari. We know Bihari. Um, I'm forgetting the, the first name, but Bihari was his, one, of, one of his names. Very stout and strong. So he would carry Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj on a basket. He would carry him wherever he went. And then, you know, all the Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj couldn't even move or do anything like that. When the Kirtan was, would go on, he would just leap out of his basket and he would dance as though he's like a young man. As though he, you know, because this, you know, all this, like, you know, the, the devotees, they may, you know, you know, like, you know, it may appear that, oh, the devotee is getting old. But no, it's not like that. You know, like the minute the ecstasy comes out, he just jumps out of the basket and he starts dancing in the kirtan. And whoever's around them would get around him would get completely affected by the ecstasy that he's feeling. You know, so and you know, we see that you know we 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 hear so many times that uh, you know Vaishnavas, you know they they have so many mystic powers. You know, the Vaishnavas have so many mystic powers. So you know, uh, once um, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj was there and he told. To, um, to his, his servant Bihari, that um, I want you to read the I want you to read pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita to me, and then you know Bihari was was thinking uh, you know Guru Maharaj you know I don't know um, you know maybe maybe you're like uh, uh, maybe you're pulling may, maybe you're like making fun of me or uh, to, in order for me to humble me or something but you know I'm illiterate I can't read you know I'm an illiterate person I can't read and he said oh you know you don't have to know how to read. You just look at the words. You just look at the words of the Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, and then you will know how to read. No problem. And then you can know all the verses of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. So anyway, <laughs> what to do? The Guru is saying so he should do. So you know he starts looking at the he starts looking at the uh, at the at the at the script of of, of the Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, and then next thing you know, within one hour. He was able to figure out and read all the letters and all the words in the Chaitanya Chaitanya And then in a matter of a few more hours, then he became a very eloquent reciter of Sri Chaitanya Chaitanya And he could read the Sri Chaitanya Chaitanya and he could, uh, you know, he could recite it and he could do all these things. He never, he never knew how to read. But then the Guru gave the instruction. That's why Sri Prabhupada says, with the order of the Guru comes the empowerment to fulfill it. That's the truth. With the order of the spiritual master comes the empowerment to fulfill it. Well, it all depends on how much faith we have. That's all. Yesya deve para bhakti yata deve tata guru tasyaite katita hyarta prakashante mahatmana. Therefore, a person who has unflinching faith in the order in, in, in Krishna. And the and the orders of the spiritual master and the spiritual master, all the imports of Shastra are completely revealed to him. And you know this, you know his servant Bihari is a perfect example of that. He didn't know how to read, but all the imports of Shastra, the essence of all Vedic literature, the Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, became completely manifest to him, just because he had faith in the order of the spiritual master. Can we conceive of this? Do we even have a drop of a drop of a drop of a drop of that faith that he had? No. Otherwise, we wouldn't be wallowing in our false ego like this. We wouldn't be so egotistical. We wouldn't be so messed up in our heads like this. Why? With a lack of faith, that's all. Shraddha, Shabde, Vishwasa, Kori, Sudhida, Nishai, Krishna, Bhakti, Kaila, Sarva, Kama, Krita, Hoi. Then, you know, that the word faith means... We must, we must uh, have unflinching trust that simply by performing Krishna consciousness, all our other desires will be completely fulfilled. Shraddha Shabde Vishwasa Kauri Sudhida Nishai Krishna Bhakti Kaili Sarva Kama Krita Hoi So this we should understand. That you see uh, how amazing, how fantastic is this. You know, that we don't know. You know, we... we 
we can't conceive, you know, then that's why we meet so many people. They say, oh, I can't read, I'm dyslexic or something. Say, no problem, just look at the books and then all the, the whole message of the books will be understood to you. Buy these books and you read them. Just look at them. I don't read books. No, the book will read you. Really? That's the truth. You know, many people think, oh, man, I'm going to read this book. But the truth is the Bhagavad Gita is reading us. We're not reading it. We're being read by it. <laughs> We're getting purified by holding this book. We're getting purified by touching this book. We're getting purified by these books entering into our consciousness. And then we'll be clean, mind. That's why it's so important. That's why we're, anyway, crazy people will say we're crazy and we'll say they're crazy, you know. But this is the most important thing. Even if they can't read, even if they can't read, they should take this. They should read. They should just look at the book. They stare at the book. If they, if they have enough faith, just by staring at the book and they have enough good fortune, then they'll know how to read and they'll start reading it. Sometimes people say, oh, I can't read English. I say, I also, and someone from another language, then I learned to read English from this book. <laughs> you have to read this book. You know, because this is the real English, this is the real language, you know. So, you know, it's not something crazy. It's a very, it's a very amazing thing, you know. And, you know, the, um, a few other things also, you know, that um, uh, he, while, while uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj was in Vrindavan, you know, while he was taking his prasad, um, the, uh, 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 like a, a, a dog, a female dog, bitch, right? Female dog? Yeah. She gave birth to a litter. Litter, that's what it's called, puppies, yeah. A litter of puppies, you know? And um, these six puppies, they were like, you know, they, they were puppies and they were doing the thing that puppies do, whatever. But then every time he would take his prasadam, these puppies would come and they would lick prasadam off his plate. And, you know, while they're licking, he would also be eating. And then, you know, Bihari, when he saw this, he got very upset and he shooed those puppies away. And then, you know, he, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj told him, you know, if you want to shoo them away, you may also shoo me away also. You may take away my plate too. That these people are damvasis. These dogs are damvasis, you know. You can't, they're not ordinary people. They're not ordinary living entities, you know. You're not, they're damvasis, so you should treat them. So he had so much reverence, you know. Damvasis means people who are living entities who are born in the, whole, in the sacred places like Vrindavan, Navadvip, etc., Jagannath Puri, Sri Rangam. All these places. So um, these people are dumb vices. You know, you can't, don't, don't do that. These people are dumb vices. These dogs are dumb vices. Don't, don't touch them. Don't do anything to them. And that's the amount of faith that he had, you know, in the holy name. You know, that's the amount of faith he had in the dam. And then he wanted, you know, he wanted everyone to, he wanted everyone to go visit the dam. He wanted everyone to go visit the dam. Go visit Navadvip. Go visit, uh, go visit Vrindavan dam. It's such an important thing, you know. Should make it that our life, life goal that maybe someday, you know, maybe someday, Krishna desiring, maybe we may, we may have the good fortune of going. And, and going there just doesn't mean like, you know, we take a flight from Hartfield Jackson International Airport to, what's it called in Calcutta? Or Delhi, Delhi what's the name of the airport in Delhi? Calcutta is Dum Dum Airport, right? You know, it used to be Dum Dum. No, what is it now? Subhash Chandra Bosch. And then uh, what's the what's the one in Delhi? Indira Gandhi. It's not like we take a, a flight from Hartsfield Jackson International Airport to Indira Gandhi Airport and then take a train to uh, from Delhi to Vrindavan and we arrived in Vrindavan Jai Hari Bol. It's not like it's not like that. We must actually be allowed entrance into the dam by the representatives of Srimati Radharani. It's not an easy thing, you know. It's, it's, a, it's a very you know we should be in the right side, right state of consciousness to do so actually. So. Uh, you know, um, he wanted everyone to come visit the dam, and you know, Sri Prabhupada fulfilled his desire. The American house in Vrindavan, Prabhupada said, you know. So Prabhupada fulfilled it, you know, all these things are there. And there's another pastime of uh, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, uh, of, of, of Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. You know, he, uh, once while he was, um, you know, walking the street, then a sweeper lady offered him to give uh, some bread to eat, some naan or chapati or something. And he took it and he ate it. And then, you know, the news spread everywhere that Babaji Maharaj accepted food from a low-class sweeper woman. You know, and then all the devotees were very concerned and they all approached him and they, you know, they went up to him and they asked him, you know, what is this Maharaj, you know, how could you take this bread offered by this, uh, by this low-class sweeper woman? And then he, 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 he says that, you see, the dust of Vrindavan is so powerful, you know, 
There's so many, so many great sages, so many great people. They want to take the dust of this Vrindavan Dham. They want to come and take the dust of this Vrindavan Dham. But this sweeper lady, she, day in and day out, she sees all the dust of Vrindavan is falling on her. So who is more exalted, you or her? He also said that before Lord Krishna descended to, this, to, 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 to Vrindavan, he actually had uh, 88,000 uh, sages, 88,000 devotees also descend. And he said that this woman is actually one of those people who descended. Or she's part of that line or something like this. So then they, all the devotees offered obeisances to him and begged for forgiveness. He says, why are you begging forgiveness for me? Go beg forgiveness from her. You know, that's what he said, you know. So, you know, he understands all these things. And of course, his pranam mantra, Gauravir bhava bhume swam nirdesha sajjana priyaha. Vaishama sarabhuma shi jagannatha ayate namaha. That, you know, that, um, these, that, that Jagannath Das Babaji, he is uh, glorified everywhere. He's glorified for what? One of the great things, he, the reason he's glorified is because he helped uh, re rediscover the appearance place of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You know that Bhakti Vinod Thakur, you know, there's so much controversy as to where the real appearance place of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was. So many people were saying, oh, no, it's in Navadvip, it's here. And all these uh, uh, people, you know, they, all the caste Goswamis, they wanted to, like, they would say, no, this is the real birthplace of, 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 of Lord Chaitanya. This is the real birthplace of Lord Chaitanya. They would claim proprietorship. And if that's the real birthplace of Lord Chaitanya, people would come and give donations, and that's how they would make their living. So Bhakti Nautaku wanted to put an end to this. So one day he was in his house in Mayapur, and he was chanting. He was chanting and he was singing and then he looked outside the window. He looked outside the veranda and he actually saw there was a place where um, there was, it was full of tulsi plants. It was full of tulsi plants. And then in the middle of that tulsi plant, there was like a beautiful palm tree. And it was very effulgent. And then he thought, wow, this is like a divine revelation. This is like the answer to my prayers. I think we have discovered the birthplace of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I think we've done it. I think we've discovered it. So... He, um, you know, he, but he thought, if I said that this is a birthplace, who will take me seriously? It will just be another opinion. But if the Sarvabhoma, Vaishnava Sarvabhoma, if he comes and he agrees, then definitely, definitely, you know. So he, um, uh, you know, he requested Jagannath Das Bhavji Maharaj to come and he was very old at that point of time. You know, he was... Completely out the door, and you know, b b b you know, and then the Bihari, you know, he was carrying him, carrying him all the way to the place, uh, where, uh, to to Mayapur. And then the minute they reached Mayapur, when the minute they reached that spot where Bhakti Vinod Thakur, so no one had to say anything. He immediately jumped out of the basket and said, "We have found, we have found, we have found the birthplace of Lord Chaitanya." And and this was a confirmation for the entire Vaishnavas, all of them, and all of them wholeheartedly, with the exception of a few envious. Um, Self-motivated rascals didn't agree that this is the birthplace. But everyone else, the everyone else, they agreed. They agreed that this is the birthplace of, of uh, appearance place of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They all agreed. And then, you know, that's the greatest uh, benediction. Actually, this is one of the greatest, uh, uh, you know, uh, opulences for all of us to actually take advantage of. Excuse me, I'm just doing. Yeah, so that's how we understand. Yeah, that's how we understand that so he's such a great person. We understand this. And, um, you know, we should consider ourselves a great fortune to actually be part of this glorious sampradaya, of actually being part of this glorious sampradaya, which, uh, you know, is meant for the deliverance of the entire world. You know, and who is the best poet? Who is the best poet? Any Krishna, he's the best poet. You know, Krishna is such a poet that again, in order for a, for the Krishna consciousness movement to be rekindled, he found this perfect place. I'm thinking this place is so perfect. You know, it has everything that we could need. It has a beautiful temple room upstairs, huge temple room. It has this nice prasadam hall here. You know, in a few months we will see this whole place transform even more. But it has a nice place for the kitchen. It has a, what's the most important thing? What's the foundation of all temples? The book room. Krishna gave us such a big book room. He gave us such a, 
nice place you know to to for all the for all the matavasis for all the residents of the mat, uh, of the temple to live and you know krishna is soon going to have a restaurant so his prasadam can be distributed there and soon he's going to appear somewhere we don't know how we don't know who he's going to appear as but he's going to appear we have no idea what's going to happen but anyway so many suggestions have made and so many times the decision changes and the this and that and this and that whatever happens happens you know whoever krishna wants to appear he'll appear and then like you know this uh, so many things going to be a huge studio over here where bhakti vikas maharaj will be staying here he's going to be giving his classes and recording his classes and his quarters are going to be there and so many things are coming about we're going to have like these three cute uh, uh zebu cows in the back and you know we're going to have uh, the basically the whole respiritualization of the krishna conscious movement and the focus you know to bring the focus back onto book distribution krishna gave it to us right here and he's the, such a great poet you know which year jagannath das baba ji maharaj appeared in no no i know vishnu chitra prabhu no anyone else no what do you say no no anyone 1776 oh you thought about it i knew it i knew you thought about it prabhu i just knew you always think and you actually gave me the answer actually he appeared in the year 1776 and krishna is so such a poet he gave us 1776 sylvan road southwest alana georgia 30310 you see krishna is such a poet this is meant for the respiritual reawakening of the strain away the, the krishna conscious movement has gone everywhere we're not into bogus yoga preaching we're not into all these things we're into straight forward shri prabhupad's thing people can say what they want they can write articles they can put out lectures but we don't care as far as we're concerned pari vadatu jano yata tata va nanmu karo na vayam na vicharayama hari rasa madira madati matta bhuvi vilu thamana thama nirvisham we don't care that's why we say distribute books distribute books distribute books this is the most important thing you know i was saying i was thinking it'll be so ideal you know ideally you know my desire that this is like and i know i'm crazy but my desire is that somehow the other if every week we can fill up the ram truck and a trailer with like maybe 200 or 300 or whatever 400 bag with them then we, okay let's start with 200 we distribute that in one week then again next week we distribute another 200 and then on the, every every two weeks we should be getting a huge order of bag with them from the bbt that should that's my personal desire let's see if we are surrendered enough for krishna to fulfill that desire but we can beg at the lotus feet of shri sarvabhauma jagannath das baba ji march that you know we are uh, we are also trying to get into the bhagavatam state of mind you know we that's our motto here that's our slogan that's what we were bhagavatam state of mind that's our merch exclusive merch <laughs> not everyone gets it <laughs> so you know we have this we you know we've decided we've Uh, you know taking this upon ourselves you know and uh, before i forget also um bhakti vikas maharaj has ordered me to convey something to all the devotees here so i have to do that so um kindly uh, be a little patient so okay so maharaj uh, gave me this order on february 9th sorry uh, it's taken me so long but shri shri guru goranga jayata dear mahotsa prabhu may shri prabhupada's blessings always be upon you Many congratulations on being number one book distributor in the world in 2022. Uh, you are setting a great example of how straightforward book distribution in America is not only possible but it can be huge. But also, we are also leading and inspiring others in Christian life. Several of whom are also among the top distributors: Abu Dud, Abhimanyu Sutta, Matsya, Jitagrish, Trace, everyone, Nolly, Tai, you know. at the hall at the story them so uh, you know uh, uh, <laughs> several of among the top book distributors please extend to them also my congratulations and gratefulness and this is really amazing for helping me to please shri prabhupad you know marsh recognizes that our distribution is helping he's he's he is so humble he thinks that our book distribution is uh, helping him uh, is helping him please shri prabhupad 
you know. Devotees everywhere are awed by your results, but this should only be the beginning. In the 1970s, devotees became amazed when some book distributors could pass out 100 or more big books a day, which is still a very good score, but for, for you, 100 a day seems small. We look forward to the day. Now, this, this is the real challenge. We look forward to when your present scores seem small. Work on it and pray for it. Everything is possible by the mercy of Hari Guru and Vaishnava. That's an Udas Bhakti Vikas Swami. And then I, I wrote to Maharaj this, that uh, dear Guru Maharaj, Nandavar Pranam, all glories to you, all glories to Sri Prabhupada and his faithful followers. It's indeed timely, and he sent this to me on the appearance day of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. It is indeed timely that Your Holiness has sent this email on the appearance day of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. You are my Lord and Master, birth after birth, my most worshipable Master, O Bhakti Siddhanta Kanti. You are congratulating me, but the truth is, it is you who are distributing these books. So you are actually number one in the whole world. You are our main inspiration. Your, our whole existence is sustained by your Vani. As far as I'm concerned, it's the perfection of my life, just trying to fulfill your order. I have no existence outside of trying to serve the dust of your lotus feet. And now this is where I um, kind of put, every, put all of us on the spot. I told him, frankly speaking, dear Gurudev, I'm unable to handle the fact that Salem did more Bhagavatam sets than us during the Prabhupada Marathon. Although there were 171 book distributors compared to our 17, and out of 17 of us, eight book distributors dipped out of the battle in the first quarter, we distributed around 300 Bhagavatam sets. We're far beyond driven, and we're going to push on book distribution in the USA with redoubled tenacity, strength, prayers, and enthusiasm. We're going to take no prisoners, and we're going to leave no stone unturned. Although Salem is distributing books in Punyabhumi, and we're distributing books in Bogabhumi, we'd still like to take them on. The odds may seem to be stacked against us, but it seemed like that, or like the odds was also stacked against Arjuna when he vowed to kill Jayadratha. Like your holiness said, the son of a lion is a lion. We're your sons, and we're not going to hold back. Like your holiness says, everything is possible by the mercy of Hari Guru and Vaishnavas. Therefore, we are begging your holiness for your mercy and blessings to perform this impossible task. And I said, the only thing that was separating us from embarking on this mission was a book order that arrived today. And now it's game over. And then I sent him a picture and a video of the devotee, of, not devotee, of the guy who, the truck driver who bought the Bhagavatam. And then he wrote back, Shishi Guru Goranga Jayata, dear Mahotsa Prabhu, may Sri Prabhupada's blessings always be upon you. Go on with great enthusiasm as you already are doing, already living up to your name. And he also saw our, 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 our truck video of Nityananda Ram. He said, a devotee already sent me the link uh, uh, about your videos to, about Nityananda Ram, the vehicle. That you were able to raise the fund so quickly shows how Christian life is being appreciated. And then he said this, you could send a challenge to Salem and keep comparing your scores throughout the year. That's Anudas Bhaktivika Swami. So it's about to get real. Okay, we're about to take book distribution to a whole other level that we couldn't conceive of. This is just the beginning. Audu is going to be looking into getting, uh, looking into getting as a nice trailer. And uh, we're going to be taking over the world with book, uh, Shira Prabhupada's stance on book distribution. So I'm sorry, there's uh, one minute left for questions or comments. 30 seconds. Kalki Prabhu. Day that when the book distribution for is now so small, but I mean, it's like you know, when we want to make a historical analysis of the situation already. I remember we were talking the other day about New York, like going yeah. out and seven something. <laughs> <laughs> we have to distribute seven something, when we could only do six. That's <laughs> like that's what's going on already. Is that, that back in the day, I remember New York, and then like one of the first time, like did so many something, and get like lot of the Yeah, we did 635 books that day. Yeah, I remember like, it like for years. Static. And then it's just like, there's like that next event that comes, and then there's that, uh, that Boston Hemp Fest. Oh, man, yeah. Fest. And then the next <laughs> big thing, and then, you know, like, uh, we, we came down here, and then it was like Piedmont Park. Piedmont Park. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I remember I did 14 something, and I thought I was the king of the yeah. world, man. Like, that was it. <laughs> then we had Maha Saturday. Maha like Saturday. 40 something. Yeah. It was like, it just kept going, and then the Bhagavatams, and then just like, whatever, and then this weekend, just like, it was like big, but it was like, it was like, okay weekend, you know? Yeah. It's just like testing it out. But it just like, it just keeps like increasing and increasing. So, 
Yeah, I don't, you know, one day we'll look back and be like, dang, it's like 45 times the weekend. How many? <laughs> only 75? Then we were in Maya. Yeah, what I'm thinking though is the last thing is that, you, you know, I first off, I want to look at the store of the books because you, know, you, you have it. We have it, but they don't look like a. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like here, like here, yeah. I mean, me and my team are like, we're going to drop off an app. Yeah. And then, you know, that's how you get it. And then there's like so many red houses right here. Yeah. You're literally <laughs> next to Walmart. But the, the, even bigger than that, I mean, we have, but yes, I'm right. wondering if, uh, I mean, no offense, but if Savash will look at the BBT and can keep up with his orders. Hey, this is. Because I think it is just 2,000 bottles or something. It doesn't seem like a lot. That's true. That's true. Me and Burma is actually telling uh, the, um, the devotees, you know, in, 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 in Sri Lanka, the Kerala Kitman camp, that we must give the BBT an ending. You know, so like, I really want it. So it's time out. <laughs> Say this so. Hey, we should get another one. Oh, you might have to. Take it with the word with your brother.